Hello, my name is Brenda Stokely, and I'm with the New York Solidarity Coalition with Katrina and Rita Survivors. August 29th was the beginning of a situation where the greatest number of African Americans have been displaced since the Civil War. People away from New Orleans have no idea of the immensity of the destruction. We're not talking about blocks. We're talking about miles after miles after miles of destruction. But look right here. And this is six months after the hurricane. I, I needed help because I can't do this by myself. Um, I had I had been doing it constantly for the last couple of days, and I started getting pains in my chest, so I had to stop. And I do so much until I get tired, and when I get tired, I stop. And I, I call it a day, and I start back the next day. When I purchased this building 11 years ago, the money came from my deceased daughter. My daughter died at 18 in a car accident, and this is what I did with the money. She has a child I'm raising. He was three when she passed, and so I have sentimental value with this property because this is what I did with the money. It has been a struggle, yes, but 11 years I've been here. Now, if God would have wanted me somewhere else, then he wouldn't have left this building standing. And go out this way. I want to see something done before I leave. Gutting this out all the way to me is something done. I didn't have money before the storm hit, so my damage, I couldn't get anything repaired until I get the insurance money, which have not come yet, after almost seven months. And they said 30 days, 30 days the insurance commissioner got on television and said that 30 days, that claim's supposed to be finished. 30 days. On this whole block, they have three African-American families, the rest of them are Caucasian. And so my thing is, if you're African-American and you're in a neighborhood that they really don't want you in, they're gonna try to get you out some kind of way, but I'm not going no way. I'm here to stay. So they may as well get used to that. The day before yesterday, we came here working, and somebody called somebody, and somebody came here in a truck and wanted to know, was I building without a permit? No, I'm not building. I'm tearing down right now. But when I start building, I will have a permit. I'm not crazy. And I know that it's these people around here call people on you. So that's telling me you're not trying to help me come back. You think you're going to get me frustrated enough where I'm going to say, Okay, I'm giving up. I'm going to sell this because it's not worth it. Baby, they better get this. They, God ain't made no fool here. This is a strong black woman. So they're in for a hell of a fight. This was the fourplex that I had standing right here that I um, gutted out uh, and was going to do my repairs on. There was no reason for them to tear this building down at all. The structure was sound. Someone called me on the phone and called my children, as a matter of fact, and said, don't you know that in Gretna tearing your mama property down? They didn't just take my life away by taking a roof from over my head. They took a roof from over my children's head. They don't know what people going through and they, they, they just knocked it down. They know what we was going through. They didn't even try to find out or nothing. They just took it in their own hands. I was gone. 
I, I stayed locked up a couple of days just trying to soak it all in, the fact that how could these people do something like this to a person? You know, you displaced, you don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next, but you're trying to work things out where you at, hoping that you would be able to come home, and then you find out you ain't got no home to come to. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that they did, that they, they was able to do something like that. People's homes are being bulldozed even as we speak. People have not gotten insurance claims resolved. People have not even gotten their 18-month FEMA money, which they're entitled to under the Stratford Act. They're talking about building casinos. They're talking about building up the coast in Mississippi. They're displacing the people there to build places where they can make a lot of money. That's why there's been all these uh, months, there has been no repairs in a country that has both the money, the technology, and the ability to build things in a matter of months. My immediate needs are not being met right now. By me being sick and can't work, it's not enough funds coming in. You know, I have light, water, and gas, and those have to be paid, and I just don't have any money to do that. The city of Gretna sent me a bill in the amount of $21,846.13 around November for the demolition of my property.